Well, how is all getting on? Sponge Murphy here with a final update video for my Blood Reaver unit. Got the last four guys, I got their bases finished up today. Um, pretty much everything was nearly done with them anyway. All I had to do was just do the rim of the base and just fill up the, the Nurgle's Rat on the bottom of it as well, on the base. So, um, yeah, really happy to get these guys done. I'm happy with how they look on the bases. Instead of just doing a, a bit of a, if I can get the focus here for you, instead of just doing, you know, a sand and maybe it's a little bit of a flock base, just to make them stand out a little bit more. Um, I had a dwarf shield kind of sticking out of the, the swamp in this one. Um, you know, and I really enjoyed painting these guys. I really like this skin tone on them. Now I know how to do kind of a, if I zoom in a bit. If I want to do like a kind of a paler flesh colour. I now know how to do it. The base on this guy would come out pretty nice. He has a little skull with hair on the back of it. You know, just little things like that I tried to add onto the base. Uh, really like this guy with the spikes. Sticking out of his chest and out of his back. You know, and the armour thing as well looks pretty cool on it. To the iron protector, and I did do his, his little bit of hair sticking out to the back. Um, his base, you know, you know they're pretty basic. A little bit of glue on that, but they're nice, you know. I think uh, I wasn't mad at them at the start because the Nurgle's rot is a bit, you know, it does look a bit weird, you know. But you know, as a unit, I really think it'll help them stand out a bit more than the usual crowd. So I'm trying to get a final picture here. Uh, put this guy over here. Actually, zoom up like that. Turn this guy around. This is the only guy I didn't like out of the whole thing because he has this stupid corn marking on his head that really just doesn't do anything I think it just looks ridiculous on him um, yeah so there you go that's what the unit looks like with all their new funky bases on them um, I like them I think they look really nice in the end I, like anything I do I'm always like a bit unsure about it anyway but um, I think these guys look pretty nice so um, I'll put a link to my blog in the description below. Make sure to click on that because I'm about to do some photographs of these now. So you get some like you know better looks at it, uh, <laughs> better detailed look at it. So um, you know I got a pretty decent camera, so I should be able to get some nice pictures up, and I'll stick them up on the blog then. So uh, thanks for everyone for looking at this Let's Paint a Unit set of videos. Um, I think out of all of them, I like how this guy looks on the base. You know, he's kind of standing up on on looking around. He's pretty cool. But, um, yeah, really enjoy doing it. Um, as for what's next, I'm going to be doing the Spooky Toberfest for Warbass Tay. Which I only found out about today, so I'm going to have to have a route around to see what stuff I can find to paint for. So, not really sure yet. So, um, so just make sure to stay tuned to see what I'm up to next. So, uh, thanks for watching. Make sure to check out the blog in the link below. And make sure to hit the like button and subscribe if you already haven't. And as usual, thanks for watching. See you guys next video.